So I want to talk to you today about one of the most important pathways in the body. That's a biochemical pathway that's really important and it's really important if you've ever had issues with gum health, uh, with your general health and well-being, if you want to know more about how to get better aging um, and also if you're having issues with say granulomas and immune dysfunction. So this formula is really about all of those things and some arguments could be made about some more important formulas than this but there's no doubt this is one of the most critical formulas in the human body and what we're really talking about is oxidative phosphorylation. So oxidative phosphorylation is a pretty complicated pathway that we can see coming across there. So we're really seeing O2, which is just your oxygen in the atmosphere. So the O2 getting converted to O2 minus, which gets converted to H2O2, which you're commonly uh, probably aware of being hydrogen peroxide. Um, and then H2O2 gets converted to free radicals, which are your OH minus, and that eventually gets converted to water. So why is this pathway so important? Well, we need to understand all the different components to it. So for instance, the conversion of O2 minus into H2O2 gives us our um, hydrogen peroxide. And this is a really critical agent for our Fenton reaction. And the Fenton reaction is really important in immune health. So the Fenton reaction is when we mix an acid uh, with vitamin C, or, or such as vitamin C I should say, with a small amount of iron and hydrogen peroxide. So hydrogen peroxide comes together with vitamin C or an acid base um, with iron and creates this Fenton reaction. Um, and this is really critical because it's the Fenton reaction that a lot of your immune cells use to actually fight off infection. So when this um, uh, reaction occurs inside a cell, uh, that cell basically then gets all this going, produces these free radicals and then throws those free radicals at different items in order to break them down to keep them moving. So it's a really critical pathway through this area here. Then we have all these free radicals left over and these free radicals are really dangerous even to ourselves. So hydroxyl free radicals really break down tissue quickly and this is one of the things that happens with people who have strokes um, when iron, free iron gets floating around in the brain itself is that the hydroxyl free radicals that get formulated with that can actually start breaking the brain down and there's some theory to suggest that that may be more responsible for uh, damage to the brain than other aspects uh, in relation to brain bleeds. Uh, and then what we do is we convert these hydroxyl free radicals back to water using a substance known as glutathione. Um, and we'll talk more, more about glutathione next week. Um, we start looking back at our methylation pathways that we spoke about with anxiety as well. So this is a really critical pathway. So what are some of the things that can go wrong through this pathway? All right, so let's work our way through. So when we have problems with NADPH, which is uh, one of our uh, coenzymes or enzymes associated with this, this is when we start seeing granulomas formed in people. Okay, these are our granulomas. Um, and there's even some new breast cancer drugs on the market that they're trialing, which are uh, reportedly meant to be phenomenally well, which have been associated with producing granulomas. Uh, and this is one of the reasons why it's believed to be part of that. SOD is a really cool enzyme. So SOD is another thing that's really commonly used uh, by our immune systems. Um, the problem we have with SOD is SO, changes in SOD or a specific type of SOD, because there's a few things with it, um, is associ being associated with ALS or what we know as motor neuron disease. Uh, so it's a key factor in this and we know there's some genetic markers we can now use to see whether or not people may be predisposed to motor neuron disease or ALS um, which involve SOD. Um, from our own clinical perspective we've also seen changes with SOD being associated with certain discs. So there's some um, history in some areas of healthcare where people um, supplementing or supporting SOD uh, can actually get quite significant improvements in discs disc function if you've damaged a disc. Again, it's just a clinical observation, not research based. Then our Fenton reaction is what we spoke about before. So our Fenton reaction is commonly associated with immune changes uh, when we start getting problems with that, especially with a substance or a process called phagocytosis. And when we start getting glutathione changes, we have a barrage of stuff coming off glutathione. So this is uh, brain issues, uh, detoxification problems with hormones and a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, free radical formation again. Um, so it's a really critical, um, a really critical substance that's involved in this process. 
Interestingly, if we keep looking through this area here, um, we also have another pathway that comes down here that produces a substance called myeloperoxidase. That was myeloperoxidase. Uh, and myeloperoxidase, when it starts going haywire, has been associated, um, or when oral myeloperoxidase um, is elevated, it's been associated with uh, gum disease. So with our gum disease, my TV's going a bit funny, sorry there guys. Um, so as we start looking through this plan and through this formula, we can see there's a lot of different components to it which can actually affect our health quite generally. So we see glutathione affects our brain, affects liver function, affects hormone function, detoxification processes, really critical in removing free radicals out of the system. It can also affect your copper zinc ratios as well, which can also go back to the stuff we spoke about uh, a little while ago when we we're talking about um, changes in our um, neurotransmitter function in terms of uh, anxiety and depression and things like that as well. So a really critical area there. <laughs> Then we have our Fenton reaction, uh, which is all about immune function of phagocytosis. So when our Fenton, uh, um, when our Fenton reaction goes haywire, we lose hydrogen peroxide production, uh, we can start having problems with phagocytosis. And then we start having myeloperoxidase changes. Uh, this can be associated with uh, gum disease. There's also some evidence very early on to suggest that it could also be associated with tooth cavities. Uh, not too certain about that, but there is some early signs that uh, elevation of myeloperoxidase is associated with gum disease. Um, changes in SOD in this enzyme here has been associated with motor neuron disease, particular ALS and neurodegenerative conditions. And then our uh, first reaction right at the start here has been associated with granulomas. So as you can see, the, the formula is a very, very important formula. Um, it's not one that's often spoken about, but we can see it has broad ranging effects right across the system. And it's really critical that we keep this up and running in a healthy state. So there's a lot of different key components through all these things, such as B3, copper, zinc, uh, through these areas here, vitamin C, iron, uh, and glutathione is all our methylation processes along the way. Um, and then we've got little offshoots such as catalase and things like this that um, drive other factors. We're gonna keep this formula quite simple for now. So anyway guys, if any of that stuff relates to you and you want any more information on it, I've really briefly gone through this, haven't gone through this in much detail at all. It's a very complicated equation that we've kind of brought down to a very, very, very simple formula. Um, so if you have any questions with it, you wanna know more about it, if one of these conditions uh, resonates with you and you want some more, uh, knowledge or some more advice on it, um, don't be afraid to post up down below and let me know uh, why you're having your problems with or otherwise just send me a message, always happy to help out. Remember guys, it's always about adding life to your years and we'll um, catch you in the next vid. Bye for now.